to start the snake diet for dummies. Please consult your local doctor before doing anything I say, okay? But the reason you're here in the first place, because your local doctor doesn't know how to create health worth a fuck, they only know how to take it, and they get you fuck all for results. Let's begin. So, step one to how you start the snake diet for dummies. Complete a 48 hour fast drinking snake juice. Snake juice. Don't chew fucking gum. Don't chew, don't take calorie free sweeteners. Nothing. Fucking snake juice. This is my food addiction rehab process. We drive your body into fucking ketosis by fasting. You're gonna have to buy some of these things called keto sticks. Keto sticks. These are to measure ketones in your urine. I have a YouTube video on these. Check it out. Okay, our goal with a 48 hour fast is to beat that food addiction and drive your body into ketosis. And we need these keto sticks to see where we're at, okay? So you gotta buy these. You want them to show color by the end of the 48 hour fast. Number two, eat low carb meals. So your very first meal going into this, low carb, low fucking carb. It makes it a lot easier. But after that, if we're fat, we're gonna be eating low carb all the time. The best way to lose weight is to cut fucking carbohydrates because one, they make you feel hungry all the time and two, they make you stash water. Three, they fucking keep your insulin high. Cut fucking carbs. Cut carbs at all costs when you're trying to lose weight. And so then a starting point is going to be a four to one veggies to meat plus fat ratio. This is by weight. Example. Example would be, let's say you ate 100 grams of meat and fat. So add it together, it's 100 grams. That means you'd have to eat 400 grams of veggies, four to one. So this will keep you from getting constipated. It's a good starting point, you'll have to fuck with it yourself. It's just a good starting point, it's about what I do, okay? Number three, complete a 72 hour snake juice fast as soon as possible to break any fear of extended fasting. This is so fucking important. This whole snake diet, fasting focused lifestyle is about breaking your fear of fasting because the mainstream's got you scared shitless and you think you gotta fucking eat every two minutes, okay? So, after the first 48 hour fast, if you feel good, go right into a 72 hour fast. Then do a 96 hour fast. You can even do a 96 and then 120 hour fast. If you feel good, just keep fucking going. Fat people are gonna easily be able to do this. Anybody that has a good 20 plus 30 pounds on their body, they don't need your fat. You can do this pretty easy once your body gets fat adapted. Or if you don't feel as great after the first 48 hours, do another 48. And once you feel good, then do a 72. Or the first 48 hour fast, roll it into a 72 if you feel really good at the end of it. Don't eat and just roll it into a 72. Okay? Number four. If you are not losing weight, fast longer and eat less. It's pretty self-explanatory. If you're fucking not losing weight, don't be all baffled. Fast longer and eat less fucking food, okay? The second part of this video, I'm gonna go through a recipe for the snake juice, a good starting point recipe and all the ingredients. So stay tuned. Hey fatty, I'm back. And in this video, I'm gonna explain a starting point for the snake juice. Before I get into this, so I'm gonna explain what the snake juice is for. It's an electrolyte drink I came up with that basically makes long water fast easy as fuck because you need your electrolytes. The stupidest fucking thing you can do is fast on pure water. You'll feel like shit. You need your fucking salts, okay? When you fast on pure water, if you're active at all, you will have things like heart palpitations will happen, lightheadedness, weak in the knees, all sorts of fucking issues. You need your fucking salts. And just so people aren't freaked out about any of the ingredients in my snake juice, it's the same shit the fucking hospitals pump into your veins when you're on a fucking IV. Same exact shit. Okay, except for the lemon juice and apple cider vinegar. But as far as the salts go, it's the same. So, right off the bat, sodium. You want to start with, starting point, you can adjust as needed. 2,000 milligrams per liter of water. So you want 2,000 milligrams of sodium for every liter of water. Do not go over that. That's the max you need. This is what an athlete would take in. Okay? 2,000 milligrams of sodium per liter of water. That is approximately 
One teaspoon of pink salt per liter of water. This is pink salt. Every pink salt will be a little different. This stuff is called Heavenly Spices. I got it at the dollar store. But this stuff shows 500 milligrams of sodium in a quarter of a teaspoon, which equals 2,000 milligrams for one teaspoon. That might be a little high. Sometimes they show 400 milligrams kind of thing. But that's Himalayan pink salt, okay? You got to buy this. You got to go buy this stuff. Now, the next thing we need, potassium. We need 4,700 milligrams per day max. This number is basically the recommended daily allowance the mainstream has come up with, so I'm safe on using it. Okay? So you need 4,700 milligrams per day max. That's approximately two teaspoons of no salt per day. This is no salt. And this is salt free. They're the exact same fucking thing. So when you go to pick these up, either one will work. That's potassium chloride. Okay? No salt and salt free. Same shit. Okay, now you can't have one without the other. Sodium is potassium sparing. So if your body's low on sodium, you'll start pissing out potassium. This is why fasting on plain water is the worst thing in the fucking world because you just piss out all your electrolytes and feel like shit, okay? So they go hand in hand. You have to have one without the, you can't have one without the other. You can't have one, you need both. But the sodium will be based on how much water you drink. The potassium is max on the day. Now, let's just talk quickly about water. Most of you will not need over two liters a day. I did an experiment where I got away with a liter and a half a day, and I mixed up 4,000 milligrams of sodium and the 4,700 milligrams of potassium, and I felt fine on a liter and a half, okay? Most of you will not need more than me because I'm very active. I swim, I did a fasted swim like a half a mile sweat my ass off doing this, okay? If you're drinking more than two liters a fucking day, you're drinking too much water, unless you're a high level athlete. Some high level athletes might drink three liters a day, and guess what they need? 6,000 milligrams of fucking sodium, okay? If they drank a, a really high level athlete that's like way over 200 pounds, that is lean, might need four liters a day, which would be about 8,000 milligrams of sodium. But you can, don't go over this per liter of sodium. You can go under but not over. Do not go over the 4,700 milligrams per day of potassium, okay? So even if you drank three liters, if you're a high level athlete, and you got 6,000 milligrams of sodium in, you'd still just try to knock back the 4,700 of potassium. Does that make sense? This one's fixed. You can play with it though. If you go a little lower than this, it's okay. Just play with it, but don't go over 4,700, 5,000. Basically, like I said, two teaspoons of the no salt or salt free is going to be about your 5,000 milligrams of potassium chloride or potassium, sorry. Okay, lemon juice. Simple. Just get in eight tablespoons a day. You can play around with that too. You can go a little more, a little less. It's not going to kill you. It's fucking lemon juice. Okay, awesome for your kidneys. Um, apple cider vinegar four tablespoons per day. You might have to work up to that. Some people get the shits out right off the bat from the vinegar. Work up to that four tablespoons a day. You can even go a little more if you wanted to. Sometimes I knock back a bit more, okay? Another thing awesome for your stomach, fucking uh, mobilizes calcium. Um, basically, even actually it even has a little bit of a part in keeping blood sugar at bay after eating food, things like that, okay? It's awesome stuff, very healthy. This is all a starting point, remember. A starting point, okay? That's the snake juice. So now, there's any, oh, so all the stuff you gotta purchase. So I got keto sticks, okay? We got apple cider vinegar, that's Bragg apple cider vinegar, organic with the mother. It has to have mother in it or it's fucking trash. Don't just go buy the cheap fucking apple cider vinegar from Heinz. Okay, there's other organic brands that'll be good. This is the one I always buy. Lemon juice. This is Santa Cruz organic lemon juice. You can squeeze lemon juice out of a lemon, but don't buy the cheap fucking lemon juice that's like basically has a bunch of oils in it and shit. Get real lemon juice. It's either going to be this organic bottled stuff or squeeze actual lemons. Okay, then we already mentioned the pink salt. We got the salt free and we have the no salt. And lastly, for my how to start the snake diet for dummies video, get yourself a fucking weight scale, weigh yourself every fucking day, 
trend your weight, okay? Also get yourself a food scale, weigh your food, and I suggest if you're eating similar meals all the time, count calories too. Calories, I made a video about calories, but if you're eating the same food, it still keeps a trend. Trend everything you can. It keeps you fucking accountable. That's the whole reason for this. Lastly, the fasting part, you're always fasting. It's a fasting focused diet. You're never eating in a massively wide eating window. Keep your eating windows as tight as possible. Fucking doing long fasts all the time. Like I said on the previous clip to this video, if your fucking weight's not dropping, fast longer and eat less. So everyone, have a great day. If you have any questions, private message me and get that fat in ya. Hey fatty, my pretty face is back one more time because I forgot to talk about water. It's very important. So basically your water source for when you start mixing up the snake juice. You want a pH of greater than seven. This is basically the amount of hydrogen plus ions that are in your water, how acidic it is. pH greater than seven, if it's higher, good. Alkalinity, you want greater than 120 parts per million. This is the amount of dissolved solids in the water. Alkalinity is a water's ability to buffer an acid. This is fucking more important than this. So when you're on YouTube, and they're showing you water quality, and they only show you the pH, that doesn't mean shit. You can have a water with a pH of nine that has no alkalinity and it's crap. So, the water of choice is for shelf water, Evian water. This is about as good as it gets, this stuff. I've tested it, and I'm gonna test it right now to prove it. Other water sources you might wanna go with would be real well water, okay? As long as it's not full of sulfur and shit, as long as it's good well water. Or natural spring water, not natural spring water in your fucking bottle at Walmart either. I'm talking spring water from a fucking spring out in the bush. So, I got these strips called quick sticks, and they're to test hot tubs. I'm gonna grab a strip, and I'm gonna dip it in this Evian water. So here's my water, I'm gonna dip it in. So these strips basically measure alkalinity, pH, and free chlorine. So I hope you can see that. So I got my strip, and the pH, see the orange? The pH is high. You're right around 7.8 to 8.4 on the Evian water. The alkalinity is maxed out at 240 ppm. So it meets all our criteria. I hope you can see that bottle. These are called these are called quick sticks. They're for hot tubs. Okay, so there's my strip. Basically blue and bright orange is what you want to see. Okay? So that's good water. Evian water. There's other waters out there. I haven't checked them all. Get the strips if you want to check them. Don't drink fucking processed tap water. There's shit in it that make you piss like a racehorse and kick fucking electrolytes like crazy. If you, once you start fasting hardcore like I have, bad water shows its, shows, 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 shows its true colors, okay? It shows its true colors how shitty it really is. It makes you fucking piss like crazy. Unprocessed, untouched water. Evian in the ball has obviously been touched, but what are you going to do? you got to buy it off the shelf unless you can find a spring somewhere. So everyone have a good night and get that fat in you for the second time. These are all the supplies you need to get to start the snake diet. you got the Evian water. we got the pink salt. we got the keto sticks. we got no salt or salt free, same shit. Santa Cruz organic lemon juice and apple cider vinegar from Bragg with Mother. It can be another brand, but it better have Mother in it and it better be organic.